very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Uh, this morning, a new GA GAO Government Accountability Office report released uh, found that in 2014, CMS did not resolve inconsistencies related to incarceration status for about 22,000 applications with 68 million in associated subsidies in the federal exchange. Some of these errors appear to have continued into 2015 and with unresolved inconsistencies, CMS is at risk of granting eligibility to and making subsidy payments on behalf of individuals who are ineligible to enroll in subsidized coverage. CMS told uh, the Government Accountability Office Quote, the agency elected to rely on applicant attestations on incarceration status, end quote. In other words, CMS is, is literally taking criminals uh, at their word and relying on them to tell the truth. I um, want to give you an opportunity if you're familiar with that, but based on that situation, you can understand, I would suspect, why Americans often don't trust uh, the agencies to, to not cut corners on administering the ACA when they're not even going through and doing the due diligence, according to the Government Accountability Office, on making sure that folks who are incarcerated aren't receiving subsidies. And of course, I'm concerned about this as a 28-year criminal defense attorney before I came to Congress. Uh, a lot of these folks are not known for telling the truth, and y'all are relying on just a statement from them that they're not really in prison. So uh, with regard to uh, this report, I think that this is uh, a continuation of a previous study, and I apologize, but I don't yes, think I have seen, I think I've seen preliminary, and in terms of the recommendations in this in the preliminary, we fully uh, agree with those. But let me speak to the other. With regard to the issue of making sure the right people are getting any of the taxpayer subsidies, we take it very seriously. Last year alone, 1.6 million people were taken off or had changes because we didn't have the information that we needed. That was done within a window, the statutory window that we've given, which mm -hmm. is about 90, between 90 and 95 days, and we continued. So 1.6 million people uh, in terms of aggressively working. We put in place, and when the GAO report originally came out, and I think you know it was a secret shopper. So the actions that were taken by these individuals, if you weren't the GAO, would have been criminal offenses that, yes, as you uh, uh, know. And I wasn't asking about that. My, my concern is, and look, I do understand, so I don't want want anybody out there watching on TV to think that, that you should have already read this report because I had an opportunity to read it while you were answering everybody else's questions. <laughs> um, but it is of concern that it doesn't appear that, that some of the folks who work for you are taking it seriously when the folks who, who show up on the, the PUPS list, uh, the prisoner update uh, processing system, uh, you all have decided not to use that in the case of uh, the uh, Obamacare, but you are using it in the cases of, that relate to Medicare. You're using it for other purposes, but they decided not to use it in this case, and then they're just relying on somebody's statement that they're not incarcerated, and each individual is different. Some may not be in there for a crime of moral turpitude, but for some other crime, but as a general rule, a, a lot of these folks are in jail because they lied about something in the first place or took money when they weren't supposed to, and we're just going to rely on their word. I would ask you to check into it. I, don't, I know you haven't had a chance to read it, so I'm not saying that you should have a ready-made answer, but I would say that, that you, you need to read it and you need to let us know, and we'll do it as a follow-up if you would. When do you suspect or when do you expect these problems to be fixed? Again, not expecting an answer this morning, but I uh, would like to get an answer uh, be at happy some to. point. We have time. aggressively, as issues are raised, we want to take care of them. I do appreciate that. I had some other questions which I will have to submit. I see my time is running out and I don't even have time to finish the question, uh, much less get an answer. Uh, we'll submit those to you afterwards as Thank well, you. but they relate to uh, testimony previously in front of the committee uh, relating to uh, not, not giving uh, the ability for states to have work programs as a part of uh, the May Medicaid and CHIP services, Pardon and we'll follow up with that afterwards because, uh, Thank I you. like I said, it's a long question and I don't even have time to get through it. But I do appreciate you being here today and always being willing to answer our questions. Thank you. And I yield back, Mr. Chairman.